This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. <laughs> Alright, um, he has a fight coming up. How's he looking? Um, I'm I feel good losing weight. Uh I've been it been like nine months well from my last fight. Maybe like yeah. two months. Yeah, like so around much. around there. Um I was heavy. Um they just told me um that I gotta lose weight and they told me certain weight. I'm pretty close already on the weight um that I'm fighting on and I feel good, I feel strong, I don't feel weak. Um the fight is gonna be six rounder, but it's not gonna do, it's not gonna make it to the six round. I'm telling <laughs> you. All, all your fights have ended by uh stoppage, right? Yeah. Okay, so you get so you get people out of there. Yeah. Oh my well so far all my life my first fight is stopped in the first round mm -hmm. or in the second they don't want, on the second round they don't want to come out and fight so it's like yeah what do you attribute that to the work rate the pressure yes it's dialing with punches it's totally bo 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 bo's a man bo bo I never seen nothing like it man that's the grandmaster for real so you know him joining. You know the team with, with Bo and, and everything else. He just makes everything so much better. So whatever he just brought to the table, Bo just enhanced it and turned it into a whole different monster. I noticed one thing that um, that Bo has has him doing. Uh, he like throws a punch, then switches from like orthodox to softball, and then back and forth. You really don't see that that often, though. Know? Yeah, you don't. You don't. Um, uh, but see, that's because it, as a coach, you gotta know how to work with softballs and right-handers, you know? And most times, certain combinations fall right into from a softball to a right-hand stand. Mm. Oh, no, what he doing? You know, he's been in the game for a long time, man. He's, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's that guy, you know what I mean? So being a student of the game, watching someone at, at that caliber and learning from it, and, learning everything you do. you do. All you can do is just be quiet and absorb the information mm. and then just move forward. You know what I mean? But he's, he's when they want, want listen, when people want to go work, they come here. They want to go work. You want to go spar? Come here. You get all the work you need. I don't care what weight. You yes, get it all. Sir. Now, is this, this your first six rounder? Nah, this is the second one. My last one was six rounder, but it didn't, it didn't go six. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was the the, the BS yeah, no, no contest, no right? Contest. Yeah. Does that does does that still piss you off? Yeah, a little bit, cause they should have given me that knockout, man. Uh, I mean, I drop him, they cut open up after I hit him with the left hand, and he he fell down and everything. So, I guess since the ref seen him like he wasn't there, for real, cause he was um he was hurt. Mm. And he did, the ref asked him if he wanted to continue, and the guy just said no. And they just stopped it. Since we didn't finish, they, they, I asked the ref on um, why the guy no contact. He told me that if the fight would have last at least 14 seconds more, I would have got a knockout. Are you I'm, serious? Yeah, he just told me that. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, without words, I was like. Does that frustrate you going through the whole camp, like going through strength and conditioning? Because they say this guy right here is horrible. Yeah. So going through a whole camp. Bad guy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's the correct. Call me the bad guy. I'm the secret weapon, but I'm also the bad guy. Yeah. But going through a whole camp with him and then knocking the guy down should be a stoppage and you it, it comes away with a no contest. I mean, sometimes... It's, it get on my head, but like I'm not worried about it, cause you get if you a boxer, you know it's going to be it's coming with the game, you know. Hmm. It's no matter what is going to happen sometime in your career, so it happened to me right there on the last fight. I mean, I was kind of mad, but I just don't think about it. I just move on. Cool. It's all about having a good support system. Man. Yeah, yeah, even at that. Even. You know, um, no matter the outcome, you just gotta have a good team with a full support, man. You know, it, yeah, it's the no contest BS, of course. 
You know what I mean? Was Bo and L upset? Absolutely. It was, it was flipping. You know what I mean? But you can't do nothing. It's like, it's like, uh, you know, imagine how, uh, uh, what, was, what, was, what was the guy's name that just fought Rollins? Jackson Manias? Something like that. Marinas, something like that. Yeah, he, Marinas. He, yeah, he, he, yeah, out, yeah, he outboxed mean, Rulers. He that was an outstanding job. So imagine going through that whole camp, and you get the result that you got. Yeah. However way Team Roly feel, however way Team Jackson feel, don't matter. You trained that hard, and you didn't get the result you wanted. You know what I mean? It's disappointing. Mm -hmm. So um, I think who who said it? Um, I think it was. A, Sergio Martinez or was it Cota? I think Sergio Martinez said when he knocked out Paul Williams, he got, I think he said, 1,200 text messages. But when he lost to Cota, he only had two missed calls. Yeah. And that was his mom and somebody else he said. You know, and no matter what, man, your corner's always going to be there. You know, your, 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 your team, you know, it's... It's a blessing. It's a you blessing need, to have a good team. Behind. You just need a good team on the corner to support you, no matter what happens. And right now, I got the best team in the game. You feel me? Um, mm. I got Coach Boosie. Um, like my brother, he like my brother, Jerome Ennis. He like my brother. Um, all the times I talk with him, he told me if I'm doing something wrong, I learn from him, man. I like sparring mm -hmm. with him. I learned a lot. And I just get excited when I spar with him, man. I learn a lot. <laughs> I always, I always <laughs> learn new stuff. Always. Like, he always bring you some new stuff in the sparring. I'll be like, oh, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> and I just take it. Speaking of Jerron and this, he has a fight coming up Saturday, right? Yeah. And were you the primary sparring partner for this camp? Yeah. Okay. Like, how do you see that fight going? I really don't know too much about the guy that he's, that he's facing. I mean, for real, for real, I just got to say, I hope he come in a great shape because <laughs> the fight not going to last. It's not going to last. I mean, Boos is just out of this world. Like, he Man. just, right now, the way he is, yeah. That boy better have medical insurance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, really? He's not lasting. He's you know you just gave us a headline, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> Watch. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you better have Thank you. medical insurance. I'm telling you. Who's yeah. he nothing to play with, man? Y'all can play with him if y'all want to. He's faster, stronger, way sharper. Yeah. Mm. Do you think he's the best welterweight in boxing? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, he going to be there with the next world champ. I told him, and I told him after he beat champ, I couldn't right behind him. Okay. Yeah, because I'm um, in mean, here 147, I'm 140. Mm. So after he moved Jersey, when they were world champ in 147, if he move up to 140, I'm going to go up to 147. Mm. And I'm going to just take over. I'm going to take over where he left up. That's it. What do you think the most unappreciated part of his game is? Boots? Yeah. That's hard. <laughs> Unappreciated? Yeah. Um, um I guess it's it's just honestly more people need to know who he is. You know? Yeah. I'm with him. Like right everybody right. needs to know who this kid is. Mm -hmm. Not just, you know, it, it, you know, look at his Instagram, man. He, 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 you know, he likes, he communicates with his fans, mm. he talks to people, he goes live and he, he talks to, he communicates with everyone, you know, even when he works with his, with his, uh, with his, one of his amateurs, Sincere, you know, he, he's always on top of him. So, he talks to him. wait, he's a trainer too? Well, he works, he works with Sincere, yeah. And, and he, yeah, he helped me just out. A, he's a really. He gave me pad work. Yeah. He told me he, what to do. Boots gives him pad work. So basically, he's taking that natural transition, same way his dad, same way his older brother. I'm trying to explain something to you, bro. That kid could do it all. Okay. He, he could do it all. He just, he, he the really crazy know, part about it, he's so good in boxing, 
and people just don't want to fight him but they don't see that he's so humble that he help you out no matter what if you even from a different boxing gym he help you out you know he give you tips it's up to you to take it or not you feel me mm. but he's so humble that it's like you can't say nothing was, about him because what's funny is that the whole family like that yeah. For us like that, pools like that, Bo's definitely like that. But let me tell you something, man. This this guy, Bo will come into the gym, and he not even supposed to. He just comes in because he just wants to come in. He might not even have no one to train, but he just comes in just to just to bust it up because he loves the atmosphere. He cannot walk past someone hitting the bag without giving them tips. He's he's, he's heavily involved. The whole family's like that, man. Okay. The whole yeah. family, like it's it's crazy, and everyone that's that that was brought up in that same atmosphere can rumble. Everybody can rumble. It's crazy. Wow. Now, Juan, you said you got a fight coming up. Um, anybody that's watching, who like, what do you want them to know about you before this fight? Man, to be honest, I don't talk a lot. Um, I just want to know that I just can't wait to get in that ring and show up, you know? I've been waiting for like nine months without fighting. I'm excited because they just give me the news that I'm going to be fighting soon. And nothing, I just, I just telling them to watch out. <laughs> well, that's it. Okay. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate it. No problem. No problem.